Hey guys, I have some goodies for you. <laughs> All right, so I went to two places today, two um, Korean skincare product stores, and one of them was Skin Food, and the other one is Innisfree. So I don't actually use Korean skin products. I haven't used them at all. Well, not anything like often or like in a routine since I moved to Korea. This video is just going to be a haul of the things that I bought, just kind of showing you what I bought and basically just explaining, I guess, why I bought these items. Um, later on, I am going to do a more in-depth review on some of these products, not all of them. So I will mention which products I'm going to do a review on. I guess we'll go ahead and start with Skin Food. Um, today, Skin Food did have a big sale. Not everything was 50% off, but the, even the products that I bought were on sale. So let me just go ahead and show you what I got. Some of you may know that I have been taking Accutane for my acne problems. Um, for the most part, my acne is gone, but I do have really large pores. So I went ahead and bought the Fresh Apple line of, of products um, from Skin Food. So what I bought was the toner, the Fresh Apple Essence, and the Fresh Apple Cream. So this line of products is supposed to help with minimizing pores. It is a pore control line. So it says sparkling water pore tightening complex and that's what all of these products are supposed to do when i spoke with the lady who worked in skin food she suggested this for my enlarged pores um, but also said that it's good for people with trouble skin because it's not supposed to break you out i'm pretty sure i'm about to get off of accutane so i definitely don't want something that can trigger my acne to come back again so i really hope this these products will do that for me as well as help tighten my pores. The one other thing that I got from Skin Food is an SPF. I got the Aloe Watery Sun No Sebum SPF. I know you guys are probably wondering why did I get no sebum if I have been on Accutane. Honestly, the sunblock that I have been using from Face Shop uh, was kind of oily and it made me really shiny. So I'm hoping that this uh, sunblock won't do that to me because I of course put sunblock on as my last moisturizer and I just don't want to have like a shiny looking face. I don't put on makeup every day. So that's why I got the No Sebum SPF. Alright, so that is all I got from Skin Food. So now let's go ahead and move on to Enos Free. If you follow me on Snapchat, you probably saw me wearing this silly mask. <laughs> this is the mask that I had on my face. It is the super pore tightening mask. I didn't wasn't actually using it like correctly. I just tried it on because I thought it was funny. But this mask came with the mousse mask that I bought. I've been hearing about mousse masks a lot lately so I finally picked myself a, a mousse mask up. I got the Super Volcanic Clay Mousse Mask and this is also for cleaning out the pores and tightening them. I really am trying to minimize these pores on my face because they are just mm, out of control y'all. I'm actually going to do a full review on this. I'm going to just use it one night and talk about basically my first impression on how I feel about this product in general. Okay, so as I was saying, this mask came with this this scary looking crazy masky thing. Okay, it came with it. This came free. Wait, I said it backwards. This came free <laughs> with this mask. When I was talking with the lady in Enos Free, she told me to do this first and then once I wash this off, to put this on my face after it's been chilled and then just kind of leave this on my face for a few minutes and then take it off and that's supposed to really help shrink my pores. So one other thing that I got from Enos Free is the Jeju Volcanic Pore Cleansing Foam. I've been using just black soap on my face as a cleanser which is a really good cleanser for people especially with acne prone skin um, but I really wanted to get something that might help tighten up my pores again <laughs> so I got this uh, pore cleansing foam. It's supposed to just help really cleanse your pores and it says cleanse dull looking skin all right <laughs> i am not going to do a full like how does this make me feel in a month type of review but i will give a first impression on this so i'll wash my face with it and maybe probably wash my face with it several for several days or a week or something and then just give like my general first impression thoughts on like how clean i think it makes my skin feel does it make it tight does it make it feel dry like these kind of uh observations about this product okay as for 
for these fresh apple products i am going to do a full in-depth review on them uh, i'm not really sure when i don't know if it's going to be like two months or two weeks after using them or like a month after using them i, I don't really want to give you a date right now because i'm really busy with trying to move and everything but i am going to give you an in-depth review because the reviews that i've seen have like shown significant differences uh, in their before and after pictures of their skin as far as their pore sizes go. So I want to see if it's like legit or not. So um, yeah, I'm gonna do a full in-depth review after some time of using these products. This line is the only one that I'm gonna do a full in-depth review. The other products will just kind of be like my first impressions and just like sharing my thoughts and observations of using those products. All right, so that is my haul, my Korean skincare haul. Um, just keep a lookout for my videos. It might be a little while, just depends on how much time I have to be honest, but go ahead and subscribe to my channel and just keep a lookout for my next videos on these skincare products like I said I've never actually like uh, religiously I guess used Korean skincare products so this is actually new to me too and I'm really curious to see how my skin will react to these products that is all I have to say in this video I hope you enjoyed this video if you did give it a good thumbs up for me and if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel for more videos about Korea and just life in general you guys take care and I will see you you in my next video. Bye. Hey guys, I'm here with Angela and we are at the Raccoon Cafe which is upstairs on the second floor. It's